Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. As I'm sure some of you remember, when I got my initial yellow RG505 from Anbernic, the first thing I tried to do out of the box was root it with Magisk, which resulted in a boot loop and me no longer being able to use the device. And after some conversations with Anbernic, I, I was informed that they don't have any sort of recovery image or way to fix that. So they went and they sent me a different device and I kind of moved on and used that for a while. But what ended up happening was, I'm stubborn, and I didn't like the idea that something as simple as a bug in the software could render the whole device useless. And I noticed that uh, Black Seraph had done a 405 unbricker, which gave me the idea and the motivation to return to that and say, hey, you know, maybe I can fix my 505. So that's what happened. I'm going to release the unbricker stuff for it, and I'm going to explain how it works because there's a few steps you have to do. The first thing you need to do is download the zip from my Google Drive, which will be included in the link in the description to the video. And inside of that, you're going to want to go in there. And the first thing you're going to want to do here is go to drivers. Install the one for whichever version of Windows that you're using. And then next, you're going to want to open the program. You're going to want to, none of this stuff will be lit up here. So you're going to want to click this and navigate into the folder. And load the firmware pack file and then let that load. It will take about 2-3 minutes to load. And you can see this is RG405 because it's using the firmware that was provided for the 405 by Black Seraph, and I'll explain the reasoning behind that in one moment. Once the firmware loads, you want to click the next cog wheel beside it, the two cog wheels. Now you see FDL1 and FDL2. That is the reason I needed to use the firmware from Black Seraph's uh, unbricker. I, I actually don't know how to make a pack file yet. I'm going to look into it and see if I can figure it out and I might be able to package this into something more simple. I'm sure he will do it. I know he intends to when he has time. So this is more meant to just tide people over until he gets the availability and time to get to doing it. So basically in here you're going to want to look and you're going to want to click say you want to leave FDL1 and FDL2 alone. But everything else here, so prod NV, uh, VB meta, ignore phase check because there's nothing here. You also want to ignore the modem and the DSP stuff because those files aren't necessary and they're also not here. Everything else though, boot, vendor, everything you're going to replace, super, user data, literally everything all the way down until here. And you're going to want to ignore these as well because there's also nothing to replace them. So let's do an example. You want to do your prod NV. Click that. Then you're going to want to navigate to read flash. And you're going to want to repeat that for every file down. So you're going to want to do all the VB meta, the hypervisor, all of that stuff, common RS1, RS2, boot, vendor boot, init boot, DTBO, super, cache, user data, the logos. You want to ignore these, erase misc, and erase sysdump. Trust OS needs to be replaced. T config needs to be replaced. SML, U boot needs to be replaced. Persist needs to be replaced and ignore erase metadata. So you're going to want to go through and do those all one by one. I'm not going to do them all. I'm just giving you an example. Now, once you've replaced every single file there, you click OK. At this point, you want to make sure, obviously, your RG505 will be off if you can't boot it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold the home and back button simultaneously while you connect your device via USB to your computer. You'll hear your computer make the noise that hardware has been connected and once you hear that you want to press this button. At that point just put your device down. It is going to take probably close to 10 minutes so you just want to put your device down and walk away. You will be able to see stuff going on down here in this window, what's happening, what's flashing and whatever. And then once that's done, unplug your device from your PC 
and boot it. And you'll just boot up to a normal, fresh OS that you need to reset up again from the very beginning, like your device just came out of the box. That's really all there is to it. Um, as I said, I have, I'm have. i positive that Black Seraph will release a pack file for this at some point, which will make it a one-step thing. Just load the pack file and, and start downloading. But for now, this will get you guys back up and running. I just wanted to share this quickly. Uh, the, the, everything will be in the link of the video as well. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.